Okay, good afternoon everyone. Big Mike from Big Mike's Fishing Charters. Um, <clears throat> so today I'm here to talk to you about fishing lures and specific spoons. Uh, most of us that fish for salmon, rainbow trout or steelhead, walleye, uh, just fishing in general, spoons have been a mainstay for forever really. Um, and for the most part, spoons have always been made of metal. Um, it's just the way it's been. Painted metal, metal with uh, a metallic flake on it, something like that. And they flutter in the water and pretty much, you know, whatever color you buy. You know, we have hundreds of colors, so everyone buys, you know, I think I have a thousand spoons in the garage, which is way more than I need, but what can I say? I like to collect. So, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you about a couple of things. First is a relatively new product to the market here. Um... But before that, I want to talk about traditional spoons, and they've always worked great. You have trolling spoons, casting spoons, which are a little bit heavier. Uh, but always something that's driven me crazy, and I guess is good for the spoon manufacturers, keeps us buying more, is the finish on the spoons. Now, here's an example of a uh, Michigan Stinger, as you can see. Now, if you look really closely, you'll see that the finish is being ripped off. Now... You know, this one isn't too bad. This one <laughs> used to be purple. The finish is completely ripped off. And these are kind of heavy. They're big spoons. They're made of metal. So the heavier they are, the, the less they're going to flutter in the water. Uh, but this has always drove me nuts. You know, I buy a spoon for seven, eight, ten bucks. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that it's pretty bent. That's actually bent from fish hitting it. Um, I've had fish hit so hard that it's completely warped the spoon altogether. But the finish coming off is kind of what drives me nuts. Now, like I said, this one isn't too bad. I have ones that are much worse. And as soon as that happens, I usually go out and buy another one. Or if I find a color I really like, um, you know, I'll buy several of them. So, traditional metal spoon. And sorry, I keep looking up at the uh, webcam to see what I'm doing. Been great, worked great, caught tons of fish on them. I've talked to you about these before, but I'm going to talk to you about them again because it's so important, it's so, it's so rare that something revolutionary comes into fishing, honestly. And that is this, C4 lures. As you can see here, this is a purple herring, okay? Now, in full disclosure, I am sponsored by C4 Lures, but the reason I'm sponsored by them is because I contacted uh, their representatives and told them how much I love their product. Now, if I didn't like this product or I didn't think it was a good product, I would not endorse it, plain and simple. If it was garbage, I would tell you. And here's why I like it. Here's one out of the package. You can see great finish, right? Really nice. Good curve to it. Single hook, comes with a nice heavy gauge hook. But the difference with this is, and I'm going to try and hold it up to the camera so you can see, is that this is made of plastic. And the best thing about that is the finish is actually inside the plastic. So basically they make the spoon and then it's coated with plastic. Now, these are flexible. You can put them in hot water or even use a hair dryer or even the heat from the sun and reshape these to the flutter that you want to get. So if, if this wasn't enough curve... I could reshape it and get more. God, look at the look at the finish on that. That's just amazing, amazing reflective finish that is never, ever, ever going to come off. Here's a couple more, a couple other nice finishes, as you can see. I don't know if you can tell from the reflection, but like I said, that finish is embedded inside the plastic. So regardless if you're fishing rainbow trout or steelhead, um, king salmon, whatever, Walleye, they are not going to rip that finish off. That finish is there forever. So basically, the only time you're going to need to replace one of these spoons is when you lose it, like I did. I uh, really like this one. Can't wait to try this one. Thank you, Richard Dunlop, for sending these to me. Can't wait to try them out this summer. So look at the difference in the finish, guys. You see how easily... The finish on the Michigan Stinger comes off. Now, nothing against Michigan Stinger. I like Michigan Stinger spoons. I have tons of them. 
Um, but they're all the companies, Northland, you name it, Warrior Spoons, they're all done this way. Metal with a painted finish or a stick-on finish that gets ripped off. 100% it gets ripped off. And I don't know if you can see, but this one's actually rusting as well. Okay? That will never rust. The color will never get ripped off. The only thing you might ever do to this is put on a different hook, which I don't know why you would, but as you can see, that's a pretty heavy gauge hook there. Um, but you can get heavier, obviously. I usually use four extra strong hooks for uh, King Salmon. Another, another look at the black and gold pearl. Really a great, great lure. I can't wait to try this one. So, <clears throat> this is revolutionary, guys. Once you buy this, as long as you don't lose it, you should never have to replace it because that finish is never going to go away. The spoon's never going to break because it's flexible plastic. So what you do when you want to change the shape is this, is you heat it up in hot water, or you could use a hair dryer, or heat from the sun. Shape it however you want. If you want to shape it in an S, you want to make it straight, you want to make it really curved, you want to twist it like this, and then drop it into cold water and it will hold that shape pretty much until you reshape it. Really, all around a great, great lure. I can't say enough things about these because I used them last year and I had amazing success with them. And uh, I can't wait to try these new colors this year. So, this is an honest, unbiased, although I am sponsored by them, like I said, I'm sponsored by them because I believe in their product. And if I didn't, I would either not make any video or I'd tell you they're absolute trash. Uh, that isn't the case. I highly, highly recommend recommend you try it. <laughs> nice English. I highly recommend you try at least one or two of these guys' spoons, and tell me what you think. For those of you who are passionate about fishing, like I am, and in fact, I'm so passionate I made it a side business. Uh, these are a mainstay. Something you absolutely should try. You're really uh, cheating yourself if you don't have some of these in your tackle box in your arsenal. For rainbow, walleye, uh, salmon, king salmon, whatever you're going after, coho, uh, these have been great. Really well produced, uh, well manufactured, and they hold up, boy. Let me tell you. They, and that's what I like most about them is if you're like me and you have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of spoons and other fishing tackle, uh, you want your investment to last. Nothing drives me crazier. And this spoon's only a year old. Right? I only used it one season. Nothing drives me crazier than that. And you can see the scratches from the teeth. Hopefully you can see that. Right? These are toothy critters we're catching. They're not, they're not bass. If all I was catching was bass with these with no teeth, meh. Might be okay. Musky. A musky grabs a hold of one of those, it's going to get destroyed. A musky grabs a hold of one of those, it, it's indestructible pretty much. Nothing is going to happen to it. It might, the plastic might get scratched up a bit, but the finish is going to stay, because like I said, it's inside. So anyway, guys, that's it. C4 Lures, um, strongly recommend you try some out. It's uh, c4lures.com. They are a great product. I really like them, and I uh, can't wait to fish with them again this year. And when I do... I will post pictures and reviews of what I use, what colors work. I've got a few more here. Um, this one I worked really well last year. This green one. It's called Double Green Chrome. And these are a 5 inch and these are a 4 inch. I believe they're 4 inch. Let me just double check. Sorry. Yeah, 4 inch. Uh, this one also was great, this watermelon one. Um, really good for walleye, actually, surprisingly. Uh, even this big of a spoon, 5-inch spoon. I was getting, you know, 18-inch walleye sometimes hitting them. Sheephead, sheephead love these, but they pretty much love everything. Give them a try, guys. Uh, you won't be disappointed. And honestly, if you are disappointed, I'll buy the spoon off you. They're that good. Give them a try. For a few bucks, contact Richard Dunlop. Um... Or contact C4 Lures directly and get at least a couple of these to give a try. You know, <clears throat> people always say, oh, well, they know, 
this is, you know, this is the spoon that works for me. This is the one that's worked always. Well, that's probably because you run it all the time and that's all you run. And if that's all you run, of course, your fish are going to come on that lure. Don't be afraid to change it up, guys. Um, but these finishes, I'm telling you, they won't come off. Absolutely will not come off. That's it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, contact me. And if I can't answer them for you, I'll direct you where you can. And uh, until then, tight lines, and I'll see you on the water. Have a great day, guys.